Good morning. It's April the 5th, 2021. Beautiful sunny day in Antigua. And today we're looking at a Balance 451 Symmetry. Take a bit of a walk around it. This is a heavily optioned boat uh, designed to be a liveaboard. Okay. So we've got dagger boards, fresh coat of bottom paint. Have sail drives with flexible three bladed feathering props. We have dual ladders on the back, big dinghy. We just recently polished it. Okay, now we're going to walk down the other side. Try not to wobble too much here on you. Okay. That's a first glance at the outside of the boat. Let's go upstairs and uh, let's go aboard and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so now we're climbing aboard Symmetry. We can see here that we got all the sheets come back to the cockpit to an electric winch. We have single line reefing on stages one and two and then a manual third stage reef. Got a large screecher. And to complement that, we've got a nice self tacking jib set up. Single line furler on the screecher. And it's also rigged for a Beautiful uh, spinnaker, which is stowed away right now, but we'll try and get a picture of that uh, inserted into this uh, video somehow. These are our Neil Pry performance sails. The new sail bag. Okay, let's. Take a look under some of these hatches. So we can see we've got some large hatches in the front. Lots of room for sails, fenders, bikes, etc. Over here we can see we've got our windlass, which is electric, paddles to control it. We also have a fresh water flush up front. And we still with a secondary anchor. It comes back out to here and we can just connect that up when we want a second anchor. Let's go have a look at the, uh, the batteries now. Now this boat was designed to be a liveaboard long distance cruiser. And with that in mind, we've equipped it to, with a completely redundant lithium battery system for the house. Go ahead in here and take a look around. I'll try and insert a picture here with the with the cover off. This is enough capacity to uh, to run air conditioning all night. To uh, run our microwaves or stoves and any other mod cons we'd uh, like to include. Walking around the deck now, see we've got a large area here. This is great for, uh, for morning workouts, yoga sessions, or even just sitting back and relaxing. 
tramps are in good condition. Seating area up at the front to watch the dolphins. Moving up, we've got lots of solar here. We've got flexible solar that we can walk on where we need to get access to the sails. And then we've got a high performance uh, Renergy 250 watt panels on the other side. Okay, moving aft now on the port side. We've got our life sling, dagger boards. With the dagger boards up, we draw less than a meter and a little over two meters with them down. You can see that the eyes uh, and glass is all brand new. The bimini top over the helm, which is removable, which is kind of neat. We've got covers over all the hatches, which really reduce the solar load. Let's head back into the cockpit. The engines are two 39 horsepower Yanmars, three GH5s, with the SD50 sail drives. Look around. We've got a power distribution here. We also have two large alternators. Provide house power when there's no sun. And you can see the large frame alternator down here. It provides a 24 volt house. And our smaller 12 volt cranking battery here. And let's go have a look at the start at the ports engine now. And here we have our port engine. Again, 39 horsepower, Yanmar. It actually pokes us along fairly well. If the wind isn't too strong, we can hit uh, eight or nine knots. Often using just one engine is more than enough to take us six knots. Keeps our fuel consumption way down for those no wind days. Okay, so we've got our battery charger back there. We have our Victron for the aft uh, uh, solar panels. And again, we have another large frame, five kilowatt brushless DC alternator for our house batteries. And then our own small alternator for charging. The, uh, the engines. At the back, starting back here, we've got a uh, Merc 350 dinghy, Hypalon, Chaps and a 40 horse four stroke on the back. This is all 2014 as well. And behind above that, covering the garage, we have three more Renergy glass solar panels, giving us a total of a little over 1.7 kilowatts on the boat. In the cockpit area, this table drops down, turns into a nice day bed, and we hide the uh, cushion for it under the master bed. Tons of storage back here in the back of the cockpit. And we've got a fridge, a sink, and a barbecue. Let's take a second and we'll open those up for you. Okay, we're on the cockpit now with everything opened up. We've got a nice little cockpit fridge with a mini freezer there. Hot and cold running water. Good fish cleaning station here. And a nice two burner stainless steel barbecue right here. Here we've got our central vac, our drogue, 
see anchor. Storage under the uh, under the helm. Nice big uh, two person seat. But, sorry about that. And moves back and forth for fishing or sitting looking over at sunsets. Or out at the helm. Stereo speakers that tie into the inside surround sound. LED dim lighting everywhere, of course. Nice new Isinglass. Bimini top. Okay, let's have a look at our at our helm now. Okay, so we're looking at the helm here now, this 2014 balance. Mm -hmm. And we can see it's heavily optioned with instrumentation. We have an E127 Raymarine touchscreen. We've got the ST70 gauges. We have the new Evolution Autopilot. We've got our Yanmar upgraded uh, gauge clusters. On the right hand side, we also have controls for our port and starboard house charging alternators. heading now we're heading into the uh, interior so you see we have our saloon on our left and our galley on our right with nice access between the galley and the helm Corian countertop lots of drawers and cupboards these cupboards by the way are all aluminum honeycomb with a maple veneer on them so they're not going to warp on you we have a three burner hob stove we have a propane oven with turntable we have a large single sink hot and cold water as well as remineralized drinking water our propane control we have a fridge freezer a large fridge on the right hand side and a reasonable size freezer there are also two more freezers down in one of the guest cabins Room for microwaves, other appliances, large cupboards, that's a drawer. Nice new sheer curtains. Curved uh, monitor with a surround sound set up as a media center. This is our navigation station. So we have our Victron Multi Plus controls here. We have our DC control panel here. Entertainment. We have a second control for the autopilot as well as our Maritron monitoring system which gives us our engine controls, tank levels, uh, redundant depth control, outputs from all of our solar panels, and so on. In addition, it provides alarm services, so if we happen to have a bit of water in a bilge, we trigger the alarm, and we can notice that we've actually got the uh, alarm here, so we know we triggered our starboard forward bilge. We set that alarm. The 
AHF. And our AC breaker panel. Let's go into the master hold. Have a look down there. Okay, we're now heading towards the master hull. First come to a, a large pantry, lots of cupboard space. This is interesting behind the dagger boards, although it's not very deep. Makes an excellent spice rack for all your sauces and spices. Large cupboards for provisioning. Heading towards the aft, we come to the master bathroom. We have more storage and cupboards here. Just a few samples here of what they look like. Okay, let's go into the master bath. So here we have more storage behind the, uh, the toilet. Raritan electric toilet, fresh water flush, hot and cold bidet functions, and the control panel beside it. GFI outlet. A large shower. Shower is enough room for more than one person as well as a small washer spin dryer. Now, if you don't like that, you can take the spin dryer out and use that as a nice, uh, nice bench. Okay, moving back from the aft of the boat, I'm going to come out of the shower into the bath. I'm going to head back through the pantry area. Cupboards everywhere. Uh, down in this one, the vented one is our air conditioner. And our fridge behind this one. Let's go into the master bedroom now. Master bedroom, good size queen bed, access on both sides, a media center, lighting, fans, your temperature controls for your air conditioning. Some drawers. And moving forward now to the front of the boat, we have master closet which is aromatic cedar, almost six feet deep, lots of storage room. And in front of that, we have the crash bulkhead on the bottom half, and we have all of our outdoor cushions stored. And of course the surfboard. Coming back through the master bedroom, We'll head out back up the 
upstairs. And next we'll go across and we'll check out the guest hall. Okay, we're almost done our tour. I'm going to go down in the guest hall and go through that now. So again, we have a similar large pantry area here. In this case, we took that shallow cupboard, mounted some tool pouches, and have all of our tools mounted here. side we have our power distribution and all of our main fusing Going down level we have our Victron MultiPlus storage and on the bottom level we have our air conditioner for this sign. So we have two 9 kilowatt air conditioners. They can either be diverted to feed up into the salon area or out the back and into the cabin area for sleeping at night. So this uh, guest queen is basically a mirror of the, the master. Same layout. By the way, I'm told the quilts are included. Let's move forward now in, in this hall. So moving forward, we have a, our guest head, which again is a full hot and cold water bidet, shower, And again, lots of storage in the front of this hole. Okay, let's head to the back of the boat and look at the uh, another guest cabin. So we're walking back into the pantry. Close the cupboard here. Heading back here, we're now under our navigation station. And this is where all of our navigation instrumentation is. So all of our Maritron and Raymarine monitoring. On the other side, over the hull, we have a Spectra water maker. Runs off of our 24 volt house batteries. Puts out about 17 gallons an hour. And it looks like this. So again, this is redundant. We have two pumps. We have a new membrane and the Clark pump pump. <laughs> the Clark pump was all rebuilt last year. You'll notice tags on many things wherever we've done some service on it. We've tried to leave a, a ID tag description of the work. Moving back, we have another guest cabin. This one's laid out to be a combination office and guest cabin. So we've got a nice little stool here, which can be used for seating and also as a step up for the kids if you have any, onto the bed. Now the bed cushions push back. If you need Workspace, if you want it as a bed, we just pull that ahead. Again, lots of coverage. Moving right to the back of the boat. You'll notice we have a 110, 12 volt, 5 volt in most, most of the cabins as well. And you can see here, we've got two freezers. 
for long-term storage. Heading back into the pantry again, moving forward, and we're going to head back upstairs. Also, the uh, solar panels on the back are on a tilt, so they work like a sun visor to block out the evening sun or to put it down just to watch the sunset. And that concludes our tour for today. Thanks for watching.